one. All right, the purpose of this video is to show you exactly how our crowdfunding donation distribution formula works. And as you can see, I've got a plain blank piece of paper here, and I want you to feel free to follow along on your own sheet of paper, or you can just watch this video over and over. But I'm sure that once we go through this, you'll have a clear understanding of how this whole donation formula works. So the first thing I want you to do is go ahead and put the word you right here. Of course, that represents you. And then we're gonna draw some floors up. These represent floors, the first floor, the second floor, third floor, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. And where the number 10th is, just put an arrow pointing up indicating that it continues to go up. Now I want you to just imagine this is a staircase. These are floors, there's three steps in between each floor, but these are the floors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now below you, there's the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are also stairs going up that you've climbed, that people are gonna be climbing up, okay? So now our whole distribution formula is based on a give then receive formula, okay? So in order to receive from the people below you, you have to first give to the first person or to the people above you. So on this number one, we're gonna put $200. Now that $200 represents a $10 step, a $40 accelerator, a $50 step, and a $100 step for a total of $200 for the first floor. So over here, we're gonna put in floor one equals a total of $200 that you're going to pay it forward to. Now by you paying that $200 forward to the person one step above you, that entitles you to receive on your first step below you. So we're going to team up and we're gonna find two other people that may have a project or a need, want, or desire that they wanna raise funds for, and we will show them how to do it, and they're gonna be willing to contribute $200 to your project in order for you to help them build their project, okay? So we're gonna simply say two times 200, because they're gonna fund the first floor, so two times 200, equals $400. So we're gonna over here put floor one equals 400. Notice you gave over here 200 in order to receive 400 here. So over here, we're gonna put project fund, pro fund, okay? And we're gonna put $400 in your project fund, okay? We'll just put project instead, okay, project fund. So we got $400 in your project fund. Now. In order for you to receive funds or donation on your second step below you, you need to first fund the second step above you. That's floor two. Remember, these consist of three steps, a $20 step, a $100 step, and a $200 step for a total of $320, okay? So 320 is the second step. So, we're gonna go over here to the project fund and we're gonna minus $320 out of your project fund. So that leaves you with a total of $80 in your project fund, okay? Now, we're gonna distribute this $320. Now, our formulation, 100% of the first floor goes to the project right on the stair above you. On floors two through seven, it's a little bit of a different formulation. So to step floors two through seven equal 50%, 25%, and 25%. I'm gonna show you how that works, okay? So to fund, in order for us to receive on floor two, we gotta to give to two steps above us. $320 is what it takes to fund our floor two. But based on this distribution formula, 50% of the 320 is $160, so $160 of the 320 is gonna to go to the person two steps above you, okay? And then 25% of the 320 is $80, so that's gonna to go to two steps above, and then $80, two steps above. So you see how that works? 160 plus 80 plus 80 is your 320, and that funded three different projects above you. Okay, so now you have funded floor two, which enables you to receive on floor two. So we're gonna say that 
we're going to work in a perfect world where two who get two who get two and so on. We're going to show you for demonstration purposes how that works. These two people go out and find two people each. So that's four. Okay, four people are on your second floor. And what do they have to do in order to receive on their second floor? They have to give to the two floors above them, which is you. One, two, you're the target. So you get 50% of the 320, which is $160. So four times 160 is $640. So four, two equals 640 that you received. Remember, you gave 320 on floor two, and you received 640 on floor two. So let's go over here to our project fund and add 640 to the $80 that's currently there. That leaves you with $720 in your fund, okay? Now, in order for you to receive on your third floor, you have to give to the person on the third floor. The third floor requirements are, okay, again, we're gonna go just floors, and, and the floors now just simply double, okay? And for, for, for simple math, it's, it's easier this way as well. So for 300, double 320 is 640. So that's 640 for floor three. And remember that the floors two through seven are 50, 25, 25. So we're gonna show you how this distributes, but we're gonna take the 640 to fund floor three and subtract that from the 720. 640 minus 720 is $80. Again, you're now left with $80 in your project fund. But you now have funded three other projects with your $640. Now again, in order to receive on the third floor below you, you have to give to the third floor above you. That person right there is the target, so they get, based on this formula, 50% of three, 640 is $320. The person above them directly gets 25% of the 640 is $160, and this person here gets $160. As you can see again, 320 plus 160 plus 160 is the 640 to fund three floor, or floor three, sorry. So you again have now funded floor three in entirety, just like floor two and floor one. So these four are checked off as funded. That enables you to receive on the third floor below you. So now when these four go out and get two each, that's four times two is eight times $320 because again, in order for these people to receive on their third floor, they got to give to the third floor above them, which happens to be you. So that's $360, or excuse me, $320. Eight times 320 is 2560. Okay, so floor three equals 2560 that you received. So you gave $640 on floor three, then you received $2560 on floor three below you. Now, we're gonna take the $2560 over here, add it to your 80, and you now have $2640, okay? You see how that works? All right, now you have to fund floor four, okay? Floor four, again, it comprised of three steps. Like I said, it just doubles. So double 640 is 1,280. That is what it takes to fund floor four. And remember, out of that 1,280, it's going to be distributed 50, 25, 25. So it's going to fund three project managers, uh, in a total of 1,280. But again, in order for to receive on floor four, you got to climb up four steps, and that's the target. That's the person that receives the 50% of the 1280 which is $640. The person above them receives the 25%, which is $320. And then the person above him gets $320. So again, 320 plus 320 plus 640 equals 1280 Now your fourth floor is funded. So you gave $1,280 to floor four. So we need to go over here and subtract 1,280 from your 2640, which leaves you $1,360 in your project fund after funding and funding four floors and receiving on three floors. But now that you've funded floor four, you can now receive on floor four. So floor four, again, following a two who get two, eight get two is 16, 
times the target, which is 50% of 1280, is $640. So it's 16 times 640 is $10,240. So floor four equals $10,240 that you received on floor four. So you take that 10,000 over here, add it to your fund, 10,240, that gives you a total of $11,600 in your project fund after funding floor fours above you and receiving from floor fours below you. Now, this is where it gets really exciting here, okay? Um, the fifth floor, okay? The fifth floor, again, double 1280 is 2560. That's three steps of, 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 of donations totaling 2560 that get distributed this way, 50%, 25%, 25%. So first we're gonna take the 2560, subtract that from our total, which leaves us now $9,040 in our project fund after we have funded floor five. Now we're gonna distribute this 2560. In order to receive from floor five below us, you have to fund floor five above you. So half of 2560 is 1280 and 25% of 1280 is 640 and 640. Okay, I think you're understanding how this works. 640 plus 640 plus 1280 is 2560. So now floor five is funded and it's already subtracted. So now, since we gave on floor five, we're now able to receive on floor five. And again, following the two who get two who get two, you have 16 times two is 32 times the, the, the target price of 1,280, okay? Equals, now this is again where the numbers get, start to get ridiculous. $40,960 is what you have received on floor five. So floor five equals 40,960. We're gonna take that, add it to our 9,040. Okay, so 40,960, and guess what? That comes up to an even $50,000 flat. Now, stay with me, we've got two more stairs, okay, to climb. Floor six, okay, is again, double 2560 is 5120. So in order for us to fund and uh, contribute to floor six, and we're gonna have 5120 subtracted from the 50,000, so 5120 subtracted, that leaves us 44,880 in our project fund, okay? And floor six is funded, and now we're gonna distribute that again, the 50, 25, 25. So 50% in order to receive on floor six, below you, you have to give to floor six above you, and it's distributed again, 50, 25, 25. So 50% of 5120, is 2560 goes to this person, and 1280 goes to this person, and 1280 goes to this person. Now, down here, again, following two by two, these 32 people get two people, that's 64 people times the target price of 50%, okay, is 20, uh, 50% of 5120 is 2560. Now, 2064 times 2560 is a hundred and sixty three thousand eight hundred and forty dollars on floor six that's one hundred sixty three thousand eight hundred and forty add that over here to your project fund 840 and that leaves you a total of two thousand $208,720 in your project fund. Now, we're gonna do one more step, okay? We're gonna fund floor seven. Floor seven is again, double the steps, 5120 is $10,240 that we have to fund three different project managers on the floors above us in order to receive on our floor seven. So we're gonna take the 10,240, subtract that from our fund, okay, our project fund, 
right over here, 10,240. That leaves us 198,480 in our project fund after we have funded floor seven. Now again, we're gonna distribute this 10,240 in order for us to receive on floor sevens below us. We have to give to the floor seven above us, which is the target price, 50%, 25%, 25%. So half of 10,240 is 5120 here, and then 2560 goes to this person, and 2560 goes to this person. Now, all seven floors have been funded. You have successfully climbed 21 steps to reach the, stair, the top of the stairs, and you have funded a total of a little over $20,000 to the projects above you. A little over, it's $20,000 and change. If you just add all these up, it's a little over $20,000, okay? That's how much you funded. And now, let's go down here and take the two by two by two, 64 times two is 128 people times the target price of 5120 equals, <laughs> get this. Now, this is crazy, I know. It's 660, excuse me, 655,360. So floor seven is 655,360. You take that, add it to your 198, 6,500, or 655,360, plus your 198 leaves you with $853,840, okay? That is what you have received by following this distribution formula. Now, that's just simply, and I want you to, to understand, that's just the start. And yes, these numbers are astounding. But this number does not, this number right here, does not even include the 25% of the two steps. When you take that into consideration, that puts you over $1 million